uh, E-011 of 2024, Dr. Eric Mutai, Fazes County Assembly of Kericho, the Speaker County Assembly, uh, Honorable Rogon, the mover of the motion, the Senate, and the Speaker. And the order is at page 387 to 388. Mr. Speaker, sir, I... Uh, yes, volume two. I, my apologies. Council, uh, talk closer to the microphone so that uh, the Senators can uh, hear you. Honorable Senators, I am referring to volume two, page 387, to page 514, which contains the filings in Kericho High Court, Kericho Petition Number E011 of 2024, Dr. Eric Mutai, first as the County Assembly of Kericho, the Speaker of Kericho County, uh, Honorable Rogoin, uh, the Senate as fourth respondent, and the Speaker as the fifth respondent, and the order is at page 387, 388, and it states at paragraph five that pending in the party's hearing of the motion dated 2nd of October, an order is issued to restrain the Senate and the Speaker from receiving or acting or presenting to the plenary of the Senate or allowing for debate the Senate, uh, allowing for debate at the Senate. No, honorable senators, can the council be heard in silence, please? <laughs> Senator Allen. Take your seat. If you want to consult, we have the lounge. It's empty as we speak. You may want to use, make use of it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I will read again the, the order. The order, which is material to this uh, session, says that pending in the party's hearing of the motion dated 2nd of October, an order is hereby issued to restrain the Senate and the Speaker from receiving or acting or presenting to the plenary of the Senate or allowing for debate at the Senate as a plenary or at any other Senate committee or discussing or making any decision or resolution in regard to the impeachment of the petitioner uh, uh, in regard to the impeachment of the petitioner, the governor, uh, Kerijo County, on 2nd of October 2024. Uh, that is the relevant bit of that. And, uh, Ms. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, uh, Council for Governor. Yes, yes, may I explain? Mr. Yes. Speaker, sir, Honorable Senators, at the start of my presentation, I indicated that there is a first bundle that improperly paginated. There is a second bundle which definitely has that corrected pagination. I apologize for that. Uh, Just hold on, uh, Council, until we confirm the position. That second bundle is uh, like this. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, can I use uh, the first volume? It has the same order, probably it's easier to track it in volume one, page 23. Uh, volume one is the smaller one. Uh, yes, volume one, page 23, please. So, counsel for uh, governor. So that the senators can follow your arguments, indicate the bundle and the page. Then you proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, if, if we all have uh, volume one, the same order exists in volume one at page 23. And then the rest of the pleadings in respect to that uh, motion is in volume two, as I indicated. Page uh, the corrected bundle, page 387 to page 514. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to move on to the second preliminary objection. The second preliminary objection. Minute, uh, minute, yes, uh, I'm, sorry. For I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, Senator Roba.
Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. On both volumes, uh, the pages being referred to are not there uh, in volume one, and in volume two, the pages being referred to is not there. And it seems that maybe some of us may have the right document, others don't have, and it's very difficult to follow. So it's important that we are all on the same page in terms of having the right documents before we proceed. Thank you. Senator Sifuna. Honorable Speaker, I must say that uh, I'm extremely disappointed from the onset in terms of the sort of filing that has been done by the governor's team. And perhaps at the inception of this hearing, all the parties need to introduce us to the documents they have filed. You need to be able to say, and uh, I say this with the greatest respect because the Honorable Katwa Kigen is a litigation lawyer of no mean repute, but I must say that uh, this is below standard because the Honorable Speaker first introduce us to the documents you have filed. Say, my documents are colored, I think this is speech. I'm being told by the ladies that this is speech, uh, Honorable Speaker, because uh, the men should abstain from uh, discussion. Proceed, uh, Senator. Yes, Honorable Speaker, the volume that uh, council is referring to as volume one is in fact not paginated. Perhaps what he needs to do, because he had indicated that he had filed a separate volume that was properly uh, paginated, let us allow him to withdraw the documents that are not properly uh, paginated and give us the volumes that are properly paginated. Because this exercise is going to be extremely painful if we proceed in the manner that we are proceeding. Let each party introduce their documents. Let each party substitute documents that they believe they, uh, they, they want to substitute so that we can proceed in a manner that uh, uh, is, is a bit easier, Honorable Speaker. Yes, uh, Senator Mugene. Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, I fully understand and sympathize with the agony that senators are you know, finding themselves in, in trying to get the pagination, but also sympathize with counsel. He has made uh, records, I think about eight bound copies for 67 senators. My, my copy, the one I have is well paginated. He was making reference to page 386, 387. I seem to be having a properly paginated bundle. That is volume two. What my colleague, uh, Senator Wambua, has as a paginating that reads, if you go to it, maybe I can show it to the senators, it reads something like 375, 374, 375. It's, it's, not easy, it's not an easy task. I'll plead, Mr. Speaker, that uh, those of us who have the right copies, it's very easy to make reference to the page. The ones that have a, have a copy that has a problem, we just try to find the page. I've, Mr. Speaker. Order, Mr. honorable Mr. senators. Mr. Speaker, as I Can uh, Senator Mugeni be hiding in silence? And we don't raise hands here, yes. uh, Senator Orwoba. You know what to do. Mr. Speaker, as I've said, it's not easy to prepare all these bound documents. Let us know the senators who don't have the right copies. Because the one I have, is well paginated. So the ones who don't have the, a bundle that is not well paginated can draw the attention of the clerk, then they can swap. Maybe council can supply another copy because it seems some of us have well paginated document, others don't have. It, okay, with your senators, permission, so Mr. that we make progress. Mr. Speaker, sir, can so I? So that we make progress, uh, council. Yes, can I identify the ones that are correctly paginated with the color so that we are kindly? If, if council, you would uh, uh, wait for my directions? Good. So that we make progress and we carry uh, all the senators along. First, what are your documents? Mr. Speaker, sir, my documents are for you. Introduce one. your document first. Yes, thank you, and Mr. And as Speaker. you introduce your documents, honorable yes. senators, confirm that you have that particular bundle. Thank, thank you, so, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, proceed. 
Uh, the first volume is uh, bound with a green cover, sorry, a blue cover.